Other. Tell me from where. I'm trying to remember from where, but we do. No, I feel like you've interviewed me before. I have, but I'm trying the to The diner, remember maybe? Where? No, or any of those places? No? Okay. Oh, no. well, I know I'm very happy to be talking to you right now it's about this again. film because <laughs> yeah. El Chicano is amazing. You saw it? <laughs> <laughs> have I seen it, Tracy? Yeah. It is my number one must see festival film. Oh. I'm so glad to hear you say that because I had so much fun doing it. Well, you know, I have to ask you, being the sage, the mother on the set, you've got, and it's so testosterone fueled, uh, and then you've got, <laughs> Tell me you, about it. <laughs> you got Ben Bray, you've got Joe Carnahan, the yeah. two of them, action packed. Yeah, Joe and I have known each other for many, many years. So, you know, how was this for you being one of the female voices and the mother on the set? I'm a, yeah, it was fun. I, I, I'm a little bit of a broad myself, so I, I liked it. And when I read it, though, she that's what I loved about this mom, her fierceness, her fierce protectiveness. I mean, I said it earlier, I play my mom a lot, right? So um, when it's so... Um, you know, I have some great scenes with, with my son in it where I'm just like, you come back. And that's at anything, a son going to war, a son going out in the car for the first time. You know, it's so, it's, it's, that's the beauty of this. And I think he did a great job really channeling his mom and just the, the, dynamics between mm -hmm. brothers and the dynamic the family dynamic and Amy I mean the two we're both broads I mean uh, she's to, tough to you know guys, you and be. you kind of gotta be yeah. um, but it was so much fun and it's fun to see the action flicks and it's fun to be the majority on set mm -hmm. um, it's yeah, I feel very blessed. I had a very great, wonderful last year, and this was one of the big pluses. Yeah. And I mean, this is such an important film in this day and age. You know, finally, a Latino superhero who is an every man. Yeah. He doesn't have powers. No. He doesn't have superpowers. Yeah, he doesn't have yeah. superpowers. He's just a guy, a good guy, who has human superpowers, which are better than not real superpowers. <laughs> so, and I know Tracy's got to move you, know, you along. We got a lot of people coming. Marlene, thank you. What a and pleasure. Congratulations. Thank you. It's wonderful. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad you liked it.